A lot of you are reacting to our Working For You report after we showed you how a college student who found her new apartment here wasn't exactly move-in ready. After CBS 8's Abby Alford got involved, the apartment complex agreed to let the student out of her lease with no repercussions or cost. Now, others are telling us there's more when it comes to this complex. We have more tonight on what CBS 8's Abby Alford found out. We started working for you on this story last week when a college student tried to move in here to Boulevard 63 on move in day, but she described it as unlivable conditions. Ever since then, we've heard from many former tenants with a similar experience. So we took your complaints to the property management company for answers. Move in day at Boulevard 63. It reeks of cigarettes. The carpet. Large, gross stains, and there's hair all over the floor. The kitchen. There was food everywhere. There was, you know, the, the fridge was greasy. The stove was unclean. Former tenants describe unsanitary conditions. You know, the hallways are stained. The trash rooms have rats in them. A tenant shared this video of blood splattered on the walls and carpet after someone was shot in July. Okay, it's on this floor. Now the management company, Pierce Education Properties, known as PEP, wants to explain away these allegations. I'm an investigative I'm reporter and I'm doing my job here. We spoke to a rep for PEP on the phone. They declined an on-camera interview but answered my list of questions in an email, including Thomas Gingell's complaints. The grad student moved out this summer and shared pictures of his thrashed mailbox unit where he says his mail was stolen and worried about security. And my car was you know, totaled in a hit and run. There's supposed to be a, a 24 hour security presence. There never was. PEP blames a homeless person for the damage and says it took eight months to receive the mailbox system required by the U.S. Postal Service. It's just unacceptable. Melissa Montoya shared these photos of her moldy bathroom in 2021. And I always had this um, this kind of mysterious call. Melissa documented her complaints and requests in an email to completely remediate the mold from a broken pipe above her shower and finally filed a complaint with the city of San Diego code enforcement. They were making claims that it wasn't what they, what it was. The city came in and found that it was mold and did some testing and they had to move us out. PEP says repairs were being made to the unit before the city came out and it's still an active investigation. Online code enforcement records confirm it's still open. Now, while we were there, we also found other code enforcement complaints of a rat infestation and unpermitted work, which the cases have been closed and the city says result. There was no violation found after someone filed a complaint about unsanitary conditions. We also found a few small claims against the investors. It's not a professional apartment. We went to PEP about Emma's $28 charge for carpet damage. I asked about the carpet so much it's not even funny. And they're just like, mm, I don't know. PEP says nothing was noted on the move-in condition report. We put them in touch and now the company says that they are working to resolve her issue. I think that they really take advantage of young people. And for the 263 Google reviews with an average 3.2 rating, it's filled with bad reviews and similar complaints about Boulevard 63's 400 unit complex. PEP wrote that if it was that dire, they wouldn't have a 35% renewal rate and believes it's coming from disgruntled tenants and fake reviews. The management just does nothing. Thomas just hopes CBS 8's coverage is a wake-up call to the company to make some changes. I just hope that, number one, students are more aware of what this place is really doing, and I hope management just finally takes these complaints seriously. Working for you, I'm Abby Alford, CBS 8 News. Now, this isn't the only apartment complex we've gotten complaints about. If you'd like to file a complaint with code enforcement or review complaints, we walk through the process on how to easily do that. Go to CBS8.com and click on the story to see that. And remember, if there's an issue you'd like us to look into like these, email us at workingforyou at CBS8.com.